so freaking cute. You love it. Yeah, it is. Hi, Harleys, right? Yay. You were over on TikTok, but now you're here. Excellent. Yeah, guys, you guys can join the live stream on whatever platform uh, you think I look cutest in. So. <laughs> The username's the same everywhere. Come find me on TikTok, Twitch, or YouTube. I do have to say, YouTube and Twitch does have the better views because we do have a um, a camera up here that's looking whoop, straight down, so. And a camera looking at me, so you can see the makeup. I'm not personally a fan of creating content where I'm not showing my face. I feel like it's more of a we're hanging out and chilling if I show you my face. I, I understand there's a lot of live streamers and content creators who do decoden that only show their hands, that only show, you know, the other camera angle. But I feel like to me it's important to create a, a nice, you know, artist homey vibe approachable <laughs> hanging out with me so relaxing thank you thank you yeah <laughs> hi harley do you like the colors i chose uh they let me choose the um the decadent cream and the lace and i think i think it's really fun <laughs> i think it's neat Um, who else? Nope, nobody else. Just this giant laptop case. Let's do this giant laptop case. The theme of this laptop case is going to be Project Sekai. And it's a bunch of characters. Exactly seven characters because they wanted a rainbow laptop case. Now, what's going to be rainbow on here are the charms. The Decodent Cream is going to be light blue. It's going to take some time, because look, look at this big boy. It's that big boy. My sweet cheese, my in good time boy. So don't mind me as I get comfortable. <laughs> You love watching my streams while working on drawing. It feels less lonely while your boyfriend is at work. Aw, I'm so glad you guys are creating things during my live stream. If you do create anything during my live stream, you can share it on the Discord server. We do have a crafts um, channel where you can share images, videos, anything you want. Written word, whatever. What am I decorating? This is a laptop. It's actually a MacBook case. So, una compu. Un laptop. <laughs> you haven't seen me in a minute. Well, I do live stream twice a week, every Tuesday and Thursday. Starting at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I'm here. Whether TikTok decides to uh, show my live stream on your For You page, it's up to TikTok sometimes. I do suggest that if you have not been uh, seeing my stuff on your For You page, uh, interact with my posts, whether it's uh, liking and or sharing and or commenting on the posts on TikTok. Uh, that tells TikTok, hey, I enjoy seeing this person. <laughs> Please show me this person some more. And uh, maybe, just maybe, uh, I will appear more on your For You page, but you know, I'm doing the things I gotta do. I'm posting, you know, I'm posting every day. I'm live streaming constantly with a schedule. I'm here doing what I can. Came just on time, you're so excited, yeah! 
Is this one yours, Rainy Six? Or are you just decided, in general, to be here? Because that's also allowed. Do you use resin? I use resin for some charms. I do make my own charms. I make my pop sockets out of resin, and I do make some of the decorations out of resin. But this right here that I'm using is Decoden Cream. It's a material made specifically for this craft. And if you want to learn more, go check out my YouTube channel video called Supply Update. That is where you can learn about the different Decoden creams I use, the difference between them, and even have links to where to purchase them. I also have links on where to purchase them in my newest YouTube video, the studio tour. Thank you to everybody that has checked that out. Uh, make sure you check it out, give it a like, uh, share it if you want, and leave a comment on it. Again, if you wanna tell the social media platforms that you enjoy my content, yeah, you gotta interact with it, you know? It's just how this lovely world works, isn't it? <laughs> You're watching TikTok on your phone and YouTube on your TV. Excellent. You're like, I'm in. <laughs> Excellent. Well, happy to have you on both platforms. And thank you so much, guys. Make sure you share the live stream while it goes. Because again, it's how it works. I have to beg tiktok please the people that followed me they followed me because they want to see my stuff please tiktok show them my stuff and then yeah <laughs> it is what it is we stand somewhere thank you You love this color? I don't think I've ever seen me use it before. Ooh, I use this color all the time. It's just light blue. It's just light blue, baby. <laughs> do I make the creams? I do not. I buy them pre-made. I've tried making my own. It did not end up well. I accidentally made slime. It was very disheartening <laughs> and very frustrating. So I just buy it pre-made. I used to use silicone right out of the tube until I developed an allergy. And that was not fun. And so I switched to pre-made stuff. And again, if you want to learn more about the different Decoden creams I use, check out my supply update video. Simona slime tutorial when never I despise slime honestly deeply truly with all my with all my heart I don't like slime I hate the smell of it uh, I hate the texture and I can only stand it if like I'm seeing somebody virtually like online play with slime I'm like okay with that but gets so dirty and gross and I've worked with children and they always had slime and it's just a mess <laughs> you never understood the hype with slime I understand the hype it just doesn't apply to me like the few times I have played with slime in my life when I was a child as well as an adult I just like didn't me. Your sister can't prove you're you're a hairstylist and you can't use anything with silicone. Yeah, the silicone tubes that I was using they were causing um, skin problems and breathing problems. Now, is this cream that I'm using right here made with silicone? I don't know. I don't know what it's made with. Uh, but so far, I haven't had an allergic reaction, and that's all I can ask for. Um, 
Yep. As an artist who continuously uses a material over and over, no matter what kind of art you, you do, whether it's ceramics, painting, drawing, it's all killing us in one way or another, isn't it? <laughs> there is no escape digital art. Making art is a physical sacrifice, no matter what. And um, as long as we're finding something that doesn't hurt us in the moment and we are still able to enjoy ourselves while creating, I think that's what's important. I have gotten backlash on, on promoting a, a decoding cream that I have no idea what it's made of, but nobody knows what anything's made of. Is <laughs> right? Um, it is what it is. I mean, like, when we were younger playing with those gel pens and, like, giving each other, like, tattoos with gel pens. <laughs> Can't be good for the skin. But, you know. It is what it is, right? You're a Miley or Rosie, you may call me. Oh, you love to draw and write and talk to your bestie Trevor because you miss on a trip until March. Hopefully I can get to see him after this trip, but I'll do TikToks too. Nice, lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you. How did we ever make it this far? Listen, I don't know. Don't even get me started on ceramics. Um, <laughs> ceramics, that's another one that it's like, you can't do ceramics all your life. And if you choose to do ceramics all your life, then you are making a choice to, uh, you know, suffer. It's what happens. You were mostly curious why it would be called clay, but then realized completely is different from what you use. Yeah, uh, sometimes I do use whipped clay. And again, what is it made of? I don't know. It's a sort of air dry clay that is more uh, whipped, as the name would imply, whipped clay. But again, no idea what it's made of. Um, but it's good, it doesn't cause any allergies on me. Um, the only thing about whipped clay is that it does come in very limited colors. And sometimes they are difficult to change the colors of them. It's not impossible, nothing's impossible, but changing the colors can be difficult. Hello, hello to you. What am I doing now? I am decorating a laptop case. Creepy paper. Creepy paper. You're surprised how lenient our classes were in college while I was getting my bachelor's degree in studio art, but art making is physically draining tasks now that I think about it. It is. It is. It's not an easy A. Um, definitely not an easy A. Especially depending on your professor. It's not an easy A. And the medium, of course. But no, every single type of art is strenuous on the body. Dancing, singing, um, you know digital art, painting, drawing, it's a lot. Where's the sound from? My music is my own. If you're interested, I do have it as a um, two separate YouTube videos on my YouTube channel. It's lo-fi hip hop to deco dentu. And you are welcome to use that uh, in the background of your studying or whatever it is you want for whatever lo-fi needs. It's also available on SoundCloud. So that's all linked in my link tree on my profile if you're interested. All right, let's start with the with the center color, which is gonna be green. Right. We're centering. 